Um, fence rider time. I missed this last week. I love it. It's always a fun it is segment. time. Yeah. And we have one unanimous answer. <clears throat> How many questions? That surprises Seven? me. Six? There are six questions and one unanimous answer. That is it. So huh. with that, let's get to it. The first question of No Fence Riders Brown <laughs> Steelers edition. Will Miles Garrett have more sacks than TJ Watt on Monday? Jay and Jason, they said no. The rest of the squad. Oh, we got Earl up there now. Said yes. Ah. Earl's made it. A, <laughs> Earl's made an addition. Look okay. Earl's big Earl kill. Is, hey, they brought him in. That over was the, like a wrestling pick. They brought him in right? over, yeah. over the weekend. <laughs> Come here and get these pictures real quick. <laughs> 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 On that green screen. Earl looks like he wants to kill somebody. Last year there. he was not pictured. <laughs> yeah. That, now he's got his own. <laughs> hey, look, my, I got a picture now. You can't tell Earl nothing. I'll be happy. Hey, too. you know what? Earl deserves a picture. Out of here. Earl Shoot. knows football. <laughs> Earl knows football. Can you put the graphic back up again? Because yeah, we just saw that. The ones that said no, it was me and who else? You and Jason Lloyd. Jason Lloyd. They go to T.J. Watts cookouts. You know that's why. Man, T.J. Watts. Oh, listen. Th this by no means am I saying that <laughs> T.J. Watt is a better player. You just, you just feel you like his matchup. I just feel like there's a lot of guys that are going to benefit off Miles Garrett's pass rush okay. that will get, you know, association sacks, I call okay. them. T.J. Watt is going to be the guy that gets... To, to, to Deshaun Watson yeah. on that front. I'm very concerned about the Browns' tackles. I've said it all week. And equal is not the same as more. So it wouldn't surprise me if they each have one, if they each have two. Yeah, I wanted to put, can we put no. the same yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I mean, I think they're each going to get home. I think they're each going to get too. sacks. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm really concerned about the Browns. Why are we wrong, right guys? Now. I think the Steelers will be the team, based on how I see the game going, throwing a lot more than the Browns in the second half, right. which will give the opera. And they'll be, I think the Steelers will have more plays where they're throwing and the Browns know they're throwing, which is a major advantage to the pass rushers. Dewan Jones, I told you, you big homie. I told you you was going to get an opportunity early and you playing and you starting. So guess what now? <laughs> if you go out here and lock TJ Watt up, Remember what I told you? I said, man, this guy has all pro poten potential. You go lock TJ Ward up, guess what? No national TV? Don't mess around and get no Pro Bowl votes, bro, because you're going to have an opportunity. If they spot shadow you this game and they say, look at his footwork, TJ Watt's getting pancaked. He's getting slammed to the ground. You're the starting tackle. You're, you're going to get some Pro Bowl votes. You might be able to go out there and eat. Hey, trust me. You know, I didn't say it. Aditi's on opposite ends of the spectrum. She went on, she went on Pittsburgh radio and had to get shoulder love. She said, I, TJ Watt's going to eat. There's like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to say no. He's no, he's not. Because I've seen Dewan Jones up close to personal. Well, he might win on certain plays. But I, I don't think when the game is over, I don't think we're all going to be red flagging Jones as, you know, the reason that. But he got opera, he could not, not just red flagging him. He could go out here, and he if you put a zero on the board, guess what DeJuan Jones' stock goes? Wow, that's a big ask. You put a zero on the board? Mm. Stock to the moon. What do you think weighs yeah. more? Well, we no longer have to question. If, if he does it against this yeah. guy, we it's no over. longer have to question, it's over. can he do it? It's it's over. What do you think weighs more, DeJuan Jones' left leg or Aditi Kinkabala? <laughs> DeJuan's left, left, left leg. Not even close. Uh, Not tomorrow, Aditi's by like the way, 100 pounds. Yeah. yeah. Little teaser for tomorrow, but we're gonna we've talked a lot about Watt and High Smith versus the Browns tackle. Yeah. We're doing a deep dive statistically, and I got some nuggets for you guys on why that's not the real matchup that the Steelers have to be focused on. It's the other way around. They have no chance to stop the Browns defense. I got some nuggets that are gonna blow Good. your mind tomorrow. You're saying no chance. Based on the statistics wow. and how week one went for well, both if, teams. If, but there's also one statistic to say the Browns ha have no chance, and that's the 20-0 and 0 and all of those. I'm, I'm just saying, based on that right. one matchup, okay. we keep talking about Watt and Highsmith. I love hearing tackles. those numbers because I found a bunch of numbers that concern me. Back, back way, you flip it around, yeah. it, it favors the Browns. All right, question good. number two. Good, good. Not unanimous. <clears throat> Only one of us said yes to this question. Will Deshaun wow. Watson throw for 275 plus against Pittsburgh? It was kind of where we started the show today, and G answered it earlier. G's the only one who expects him to eclipse. Well, wait that a second, Jay. You batter. said he was going to have his monster breakout game. I do, but no. <laughs> isn't that include the 300 yard game? Said, I think he's going to throw for three touchdowns and just uh, south of 275. Right. The reason I couldn't I get give there that a breakout game. It's interesting when you made your point about why you think. A TJ is going to get, or a, a, a Miles is going to get more sacks. Right. That makes perfect sense. He's going to have a lot of opportunities 
because I believe the Browns are going to run away with this, and I think the Browns are going to do a lot of running the football in the second half. Now, right. I, you know, look, I'm drinking your Kool-Aid. It's right there. It's too close to me. You got to move it so <laughs> yep. I can't see it because I've been drinking it. And as I was playing the game out in my mind last night, like how do I think this thing's going to go? And I've got one stat that's going to back that up later. Mm-hmm. But I do think that it's going to be a gr- like, like it was against Cincinnati. The defense is going to dominate. The offense is going to look good enough to put a nice cushion between them and the Steelers, and then it's going to be, hello, Nick Chubb. All right, well, so that's, that's the only yeah. reason I don't I'll, 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 I'll let you. I'll let you hold a half a package God, right I, here. I, I don't you don't want to touch it. You, I don't you, know you, my, here, touch it and let it go. Ah, there, I can't it, hold it. I can't hold it. Touch it and let it go. I've already been drinking it. So how many yards you got for him? Oh, 315. 315, three touchdowns. Ready to go. I, I even know the guys who won't catch him. God, Joku I love his gets optimism. one. Yeah. Amari Cooper gets one. <laughs> and Elijah Moore gets one on the goal line. Three touchdowns, 315, no picks. Crazy. National TV. You know how many strums you're going to see? <laughs> that guitar celebration <laughs> was awesome. That guitar was, was, I, one of the best <laughs> we've seen in the Browns awesome. ever. I think that's a meme <laughs> right there. All it's day. a meme now. Yeah. <laughs> Someone is definitely making that a meme. <laughs> yes, sir. We ready to go. I wish this game was tomorrow. I play. I wish I could I, swap I this too. with the Ohio State game. Put this on Saturday and let Ohio State play Monday. I want to see gr- this. I'd now. be great with that. That'd I got Watson one one touchdown, two forty five, and the Browns running the ball a lot. Another big game for Nick Chubb. So I'm not with, a breakout game. Then. No, no, good game, yeah, good, good solid, solid, but not not breakout. Yeah. No. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think this is it. The, the big breakout game. Uh, I think that's next week. I hope against it gets Tennessee. Here. I hope it gets here soon. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I'm, okay, well, let me, so let me can stop talking about let it. Drill down, let me drill down. <laughs> why, why not this week? We saw what the Niners were able to do with, with Brock Purdy. Yeah. Like, well, but he didn't have a – I mean, they stopped running in the second half. Uh, well, they stopped they throwing stopped in throwing. the second half. It's exactly the, yeah, way yeah, I, yeah. That's exactly the way I think the Browns are going to yeah. handle them. And I, they use Christian McCaffrey. We're going to use Nick Chubb. Yards – yards – Let's talk about this this morning. Yards, I don't know if we can really use yards as a measuring stick anymore because defenses will give you whatever you want between the 20s. Well, look, you at, can have whatever you that want. That was a Pick double it through entendre. for 240, Bull. Right, you yeah, yeah. You don't a know. Lot and of a lot of those, those were meaningless stick? fourth yes, quarter. That's true. The game was over. That's true. Fire. That was fire. <laughs> he said the coldest thing he even know. He said he don't know if yards can be a measuring, measuring stick. stick. He's Whoa. right. No, he's right. <laughs> Whoa. That's a bar and a half right there. That was two things at once. I'm proud of you, JC. Man, defense will give you whatever you want, 20 to 20. It's what you do in the red zone. That's all that matters anymore yeah, in the NFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do in the red zone? That is so big. I mean, you've got it. You, if you kick field goals in this league, you're going to lose. You're going to lose more games than you win. Yeah. You've got to punch it. All know, right. Uh, I'm going to remember that when, you, when, when you're screaming, take the points. And, and guess what? You know we got the what best kicker in the league. About the field goals. Well, no, that's different from <laughs> no points or three points. Well, I'm always giving me three. No. Always. No. Real quick, we said on Behind the Glass last night, we, we talked about Watson breakout. And yeah. Earl and I both were in, in lockstep here. And Earl, I'm going to speak for you if that's cool. But the stats to us don't exactly matter for Deshaun Watson to have his quote-unquote breakout game. Yeah. I think it's the confidence. It's the throws he makes. I personally expect Nick Chubb to run the ball a lot this game, I especially with Cam Hayward out. So yeah. he may not throw for 275, 300 just based on opportunities. But right. if he throws for two, 220, looks crisp, looks clean, looks confident. That's what I want. Underthrowing, overthrowing. Yeah. I think to I me, want, that says more about Deshaun Watson and him coming yes. back to that 2020 form than any Complete statistical Complete 70% of your number. passes like you did when you were in Houston. Well, if we're basing, if if we're now going to convince ourselves to 220 yards and just being accurate now, that's not the new is grade. a breakout game. No, then, it's not. Then okay, I'll say he's going to have a breakout game. Yeah, no, but, that's not. That's not the... Uh, but I would look, say more him. how he looks and plays rather than the final stat line. Because yeah, I, me too. It may be a Was one he accurate? game. It may be, yeah, exactly. Did he make exactly. the right decisions? Did he not turn it over? You know, those are things that the turnover last week on him was not on him. I, I think That's why that, I hate the interception stat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. The ball was tipped. Yeah. It was clearly redirected. It was. It looked like it was on target to be a completion. It ends I, up being an interception. I think uh, we're, we may all be, myself included, overreacting to how badly the Steelers p- played and overreacting to how well the Browns played. Yeah, see, that's, that's my, my concern. It, yeah, a that's, little bit. That, we're getting, that doesn't mean I don't think the sec. It's a concern that? of mine. So that, that's the whole topic yeah. in a sec. We're going to dive yeah. into that deep. But we have our unanimous question next. This is the only unanimous answer of the six questions. Will the Browns' defense hold the Steelers to fewer than 20 points? When we're in unison, it usually means we're wrong. 
Hopefully we're right oh. on this side. Well, last fence, week we all picked them to win and they won. That fence is packed. That fence is going to collapse. All seven of us. We have exceeded the weight limit. We're going to need a bigger yes fence. Side. I mean, G and I alone were looking yeah. at like almost 700 pounds. Yeah, that, you'd be in light. You'd be in that's a too ton. Light. That's a probably almost, uh, that's more than a half a ton right there. It yeah. looks just like the fence I built for Mike Polk. See, there you go. <laughs> it really does. It might collapse. The same style. <laughs> okay. Uh, Next one's an even split. So let's just move on. Okay. To the so yeah. that does concern me. I mean, uh, yeah, but, but it concerned me last week and we got it right. That's true. This one is not a yes or no. This is an either or. What number ends up being higher? The amount of points the Browns score versus the Steelers or the total touches Nick Chubb gets in the game? That was a tricky one. Receptions, catches, all the above are points. We had a 4-3 split on Can the I point side. Can I predict who said yes. higher number for the Browns score? Yes. Definitely score. Earl. Earl's correct. Definitely G. Correct. Definitely U. Nope. Ooh. Wow. Uh, J. Correct. And then the fourth person is Tyvis. Incorrect. Oh, Jason, huh? It is Jason. It okay. is three of the four on the set, and Earl, and myself, What, do you Bull, think he's going to get 45 what, touches? touches? I this mean, was easy. He's, this yeah. is the easiest one. I, I, I decoded He gets 17 touches a he game. He gets 18 a game. No, that's just carries. Touches right. include. Okay, fine. Exactly. Give him last, 21, last 22. Week I had, last week he had four catches and six carries. I have carries. Nick Chubb with 22 yeah. touches and the Browns with 21 points. Oh, wow. You, so you've got him only scoring 21. I got, you, you I got, got 22 look. touches? Touches yeah. and 21 points. That's catches and okay. carries. Yeah, Gee. touches. Total. Yeah. Yeah. Total. This well, was, this well, was well, easy. Well, that's closer. This, this was easy. It's easy to me. Well, you I, think I, the Browns are going to put up 40 points? Well, no, but I think they're going to put up more than 20. I think he's only okay. going to get about 20 I mean, touches. I got 24 well, in the rain. Yes, if you think – I don't think they're going to score that many that many points as you yeah. do. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, they put 24 points up in the rain and turned the ball but over. that doesn't play. matter. Every week's a new week. And they put, turned the ball over. Hayward is not playing. Uh, I hear you. They, they could score a lot of points. I think it's going to end up being very close. I, I still think the Steelers' defense is pretty good, and I don't think it's going to be a, a walk in the, the park The one thing we can Browns. just about eliminate is that Chubb's not going to have 25 touches. Yeah, I don't think the Browns could do score 38. Do I don't think they're going to score 38, 40s. I just think Chubb's yeah. only going to get 20-ish. That's where I was. All right. Yeah. Okay, what's the Browns going to score more than that? So, right, Mike, you up. with me, though, so you must I be. did, yeah. I, I think he ends up, without Hayward playing, I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. I think Nick Chubb's going to get a lot of carries. Like, I'm talking 20 carries and three, four catches, and I think they scored 23 points. He has 25 yeah. touches. Yeah. So there If you you're watching Deshaun Watson, they don't think you could throw the ball at all. They, that's not they, true. They, no, that's not what I'm saying. They, they, that's not, not true. I think the matchup 21, favors. It's 21 points. I just think the matchup favors. 21 points is not nothing. Oh, yes, it is to a team that's good. That's no nothing. It's Minimoski. You can roll over and get the 10. best teams don't score 21 well, every got 24 single week. Last week. They scored with a, 24 in the rain against a pretty gift. good defense. With a gift. Yeah. I last know week. that, but and I know week to week it's different. It's so different week to week. It is matches makes you know styles make fights. How many teams do you wait? I think hey, offenses on, on, are a little behind Bull, early on. in the season right now. Bull, how yeah, many teams right. do you think scored more than 23 points last week? Very few. Not many. Three? I'll say four. Three or four? Well, more than that. Yeah. Well, every game was over, was under except one, I think. All right, I say eight. Ten teams scored more than 23 points last week. Okay, means so, 22 yeah. teams scored fewer than 23. Go, go more than 28. More than 28? How many? Two. Six. Oh, six. That many. Wow. San Francisco, the Rams, Jacksonville, the Chargers, the Dolphins, the Packers, and the Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah, the Cowboys. Yeah. Oh, my God. Also, I do think we'll get to this, I think, coming up. I think the Browns' defense is going to turn them over a couple of times. That's the last some, question. I, I have a short that, field. Man, we, yeah. we, we, and get know. some short fields. All right. Help with easy All right, next so question. Sassed it with Elijah Moore. He had three or four catches. He was targeted seven times. The question is, will he have at least five receptions versus the Steelers? Two people said yes. Five people said no. Jay, you're the only one on set that went yes. Yeah. Even G went no on this one. I, wow. I like what I'm seeing from Elijah Moore. I think before the game I, uh, last week, I said, everybody's telling me this guy's going to change my life. He's going to be like this breakout wide receiver that the Browns have never really had. And you just saw enough of it last week to have that be a real appetizer. I think when the Browns were watching film, the one thing they probably noticed was he had op- more opportunities to catch balls that didn't go his way. And I think this guy is on track to be exactly who he was advertised to be. He can be a game breaker and an electric kind of receiver. How, how many catches did he have last week? 
Just three, I think. Three, three I believe. So if, if but Deshaun Watson skipped two of them to him. Like on one yeah. on a slant pass. But you said no, G. I, I know. But I'm just saying. I'm surprised you got him getting that many yards. I'm surprised you don't have him fighting. They got yards. a lot of other people. And I mean, that's that's why I went no. This, this off I don't yeah. like if you pick the Browns, any guy Browns in fantasy football, it's gonna be a crapshoot. Like they they play like the Patriots. You know they got fullbacks. Who would have said Harrison Bryant would have got a touchdown? Yeah. What? I'm like, you're still playing? He just showed up with his well, gear. Every team's got a lot of guys. I mean, I, I mean, but they don't. He Deshaun Watson to me does not seem like a guy who just says one, two, three. Oh, I'm looking for that guy. It's just like he'll just go. He's going to find the so, Well, I mean, let's face it. The week one bears that out. Yeah. The leading receiver was Nick Chubb. Yeah. yeah. Ball, Nick nobody Chubb nobody would have won money on that bet. I mean, Marquise Goodwin got t- uh, targets. Two targets. Two to- he targeted likes. nine different players in the. In yeah, the I, I, I don't know if it'll that. be. I love that. Part. I don't know if it'll be that high of a number every week, but I do think that's going to become a thing of I spreading hope so. it around. That's spreading what's it around. Stefanski, that's yeah. That's what it has to be. Yeah, that's part of the reason I said no to this because I do think it's going to be spread a little bit more evenly. To your point, I do like the fact <laughs> they lined up Elijah Moore in the backfield one play, then they go no huddle, empty the next. Yep, I and like I that think too. That's going to be again when the conditions are better. <laughs> if Deshaun's hot. I think that's going to be something that you see more often is change of pace, change of tempo, change of style. Look over here. No, we're going over here. Yeah. I We haven't even talked about it, I don't think, unless you guys do when I wasn't in. I, I love the play to Goodwin where Chubb takes a snap, hands off to Deshaun, circle back in the throat. Like, I like yeah, it too. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. It's but, a trick play. But, but now everyone's seen that. Yeah, but so, I, there's others like it. Yeah. Like There's a reason they showed that in week one. Yeah. There's a reason. I like that play too a lot. Yeah. And, and if he throws it far enough, it's a touchdown. And yeah. I think we haven't we haven't spoken about this enough. The, I don't know whether Kevin Stefanski was going to commit to this, but I think we're going to see a, a, a constant dose of planned runs with Deshaun Watson. Not like, hey, let's scramble around. Like, no, we need three yards. See, I don't think that. I When you say, like, how many times a game? Maybe it? twice. They did it twi- well, yeah, twice could, last yeah, game. Twice. Okay. Yeah, twice. Sure. Yeah. I wouldn't say five or six times. Like it's college, not going to be Lamar Jackson. No, but no, 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 no. Like, no. They, want, they don't want Jalen Hurts back there. They want to protect him no. and keep yeah. him from unnecessary hits. I think Sunday he didn't have it. It's wet. So you were there a couple times you working. held your breath, though? Because there, was, uh, there were a few times where I was like, what you, no, no. And not really. I didn't. I was nervous on one or two. On the t- where it looked actually, like on one he was going to get lit up. Well, on the touchdown run, I was yeah. like, "Oh my god!" He, Only yeah. because you're out of timeouts and you're at the 13, and it's essentially naked. Like, yeah. I mean, there's yeah. no one there. Deshaun Watson is is sneaky, kind of big. He's big. He's big. Big. You know he's what? bigger than he's people big, think he is. But what I what I like about him is guys never seem to get that. And 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 Lamar Jackson's the same way. He's just shifty enough at the point of contact where guys are just glancing off of him instead of that bone crushing dead on right. hit. And he's a little faster like than he looks. Like on that one play, I didn't think he had enough to get to the corner. But in, in the, on in the, the play, touchdown, on the touchdown, I, I didn't, didn't think, think so he, either. Yeah. He, he's sneaky fast, but I think that's going to be a part of the game too. Definitely. Like, I mean, I think there's no goal doubt line. goal line, fourth yeah. down yeah. situations. I don't think there's any doubt he's, that's going to be part right, of the game. What's the next one? one? Real quick before we get to the next one, his target distribution in week one. Seven targets for Cooper and Moore, seven each. Okay. Four to Chubb, three to Njoku, two to Peoples-Jones, Goodwin, and Harrison Bryant, one to David Bell, one to Jordan Akins. Oh, the Bell so thing. That's, that's nine different receivers who had a target. Yeah, but is that – I don't think that's – you're saying that as if that's unusual. That's not unusual for most teams. No, I'm, I'm, no I'm just, you want to see it. You want to see that number. As a right. I mean, I think – I don't know what the average is. I'm just going to guess. I'd say the average is probably seven. I mean, that he had nine – that's almost all of your skills players at one point in time were the were the target for his pass. That's that's what you want. That's great. Right, sure. It's really good Agreed. distribution chart. We have one more question, then we're going to bring in Brooke Pryor here of ESPN. Will Kenny Pickett have more touchdowns than turnovers versus the Browns? And Tyvis is the only one who went with touchdowns. The other five, wow. six of us, believe he'll have more turnovers than touchdowns. Tyvis isn't here. Tyvis? So Jason, or G, J, Bull. Who wants to start on uh, why you think it's more turnovers? I, I I actually feel like it's going to be one and one, but I had to you know you right. couldn't, couldn't stay on the fence. So in the end, I was like, ah. Eh. Then I then I thought about then I remembered what my headline was, so it can't just be one. <laughs> you got to keep it. So consistent. it's got it's got to be two based That's, on my headline. We must have the exact same headline because I said the same <laughs> thing. I'm like, well, I gotta go, I gotta go too. Yeah. 
And in reality, it could be equal, too. I mean, oh, if he yeah, throws sure. one touchdown, one pick, and surprise nobody. Nobody. Yeah. Well, when you play, when you play Miles Garrett from now on in this defense, I automatically assume somebody's going to get a strip sack. I was kind of upset they didn't get one the last week. But this week, we can start with the turnovers. I got a strip sack by somebody because it don't have to just be Miles Garrett. I saw Tomlinson just on the all 22, just pushing grown men out the way. It was bad up front for the Bengals. I'm going to tell you this. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take a strip sack, and I think they get a I I think they get a tip, interception, and Grant Delpit gets it. Who, by the way, is playing very well. Looked at all 22 and Grant Delpit, he's been balling. Highest graded Browns player, he's offensively or defensively, according to PFF.